All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? Uh, we are going to be doing a quick review recap of the finals weekend. We have the TL versus C9 game, and then whatever, whoever wins this game moves on, or this match rather, moves on to fight FlyQuest in the finals. So uh, let's get through the to the first uh, pick ban here. All right, so uh thoughts going into the series what did you think was going to happen and your, what was your prediction <laughs> well if you remember i thought tl was looking a lot better in the playoffs than they did in the regular season um yeah definitely but i i'm pretty sure i predicted like c9 as a 3-0 or a 3-1 like i just thought um they have better players in every position basically Mm -hmm. um and even though they kind of had an up and down regular season they had looked pretty pretty good in the playoffs um On of the course they kind of until FlyQuest. Yeah, until until fly quest then it was but you know uh, fly quest is, is also a really good team so you could kind of say okay that that makes sense a bit so i thought they would bounce back and, and probably take care of business here um so those are my initial like thoughts going in into yeah, this series uh i think i said it was gonna be like a 3-1 or 3-0 or 3-2 or something because i yeah. did like like you're saying tl has been looking really good and then season nine's definitely had some missteps especially after that flight quest game uh or match mm -hmm. rather mm -hmm. there was a lot of problems with draft again which we uh when they were doing well i, I thought they had fixed a lot of it but yeah. um yeah definitely some mistakes here but uh anyways um Let's see how it plays out. So C9 versus TL, first match we got, uh, well, you can see on the screen there for yourselves, everything. Yep. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Callista overall, I think. Generally speaking, it's it's not been very good, even though everyone bans it as one, but I think it's like, I think it's a scrim thing that doesn't really translate to stage, <laughs> at least in North America. What do you think? Um, I agree. I think Callista, Renata can be strong, but... Um, maybe it is just like an NA thing, but I just, I feel like every time I see Callista into Varus, like Varus just ends up looking so much stronger. So yeah, I still um, think Varus is probably one of the best, if yeah, not the best. I, I agree. I agree. I think Varus is like very good still. So, um, I don't know. I, I like, I definitely thought Varus, Zyra was probably better bot lane combo. Um, I was actually, what, what did you think about the mid? The mid was interesting because um obviously oriana's like still super super strong yeah but uh so cloud nine gets that but then they give uh ziggs over to apa which is like one of his like one tricks so i don't know that was yeah. interesting that they, think, they did that i think they had the graphic pull up here or something about uh apa on ziggs and aurelion versus apa on every other champ yeah and it yep. was like 70 percent i can't remember what this graphic was but it was, it was like crazy it was like 70 or like i don't know percent or more of him winning on those two champs and then it was like 40 or something on every other champ so yeah. i feel like be good here it is yeah there, it is. Yep. So, <laughs> there you go there's the stats right there so, so i mean uh, he can still win it's just not as not as good for sure so i feel like banning those two are pretty big and then uh obviously i don't think the giving the Varus over is good at all. Especially, I think Yon's been one of the best Varuses besides maybe Bevoy um, yeah. uh, this season, at least. So, yeah. And then the Jax is really good for them, and it shuts yes. down, I mean, at least two of their champions pretty easily. Uh, Fudge and Berserker's champions pretty easily. And then, yeah, really good. And then Impact on uh, on Kazanthe did really well as well. Um, pretty much this entire weekend, honestly. So, yep. um, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, the, the, I will say Umpty on Jax. He is uh, uh, I, I watched him for like a long time in LCK because he oh, was really? on uh, Breon, yeah, which yeah. is like the team I like to watch, even though they're almost always last place. Right. Um, so, but he was always like the best player on that team. Um, and yeah, he's he's been known to to pop off on Jax uh, here and there. So, um, definitely was excited to see him get that here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Big fan. Uh, um, he's done really good. I think he got a pentakill in one of these. Uh, he, I can't remember which he did, game. It he was. did get a pentakill on Jax. I think it was on Jax. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this game. Yeah, I think it was this game, but it was later on for sure. But yeah, uh, pretty back and forth game. But most most of the time, TL was just pretty much up and just kind of just outperforming a lot of a lot of situations. 
which is kind of kind of interesting to see. <laughs> yeah, I think. was surprised. Um, yeah, this is that. the one for sure. So we'll go ahead and show this real fast because it, it was pretty big. Um, just kind of a split and early just engage from C9 it looked goes good, wonky, and then they fudge. Yeah, yeah, it looked really good, and then uh, they kind of just ignore Umpty. While uh, see, they had three people there that could have turned, and then Fudge jumps over the wall, kind of a miscommunication yeah. there, and allows him to just keep stacking. Look at all those freaking infernal cinders that they just left. But anyways, yeah, he's got kills on the mind. He'll, yeah. he'll be back for him, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so yeah, he got a. He's doing super good, and I I I mean, obviously he's like super. He's super fun to watch, and like his interviews and stuff are really crazy and cool. But um, yeah, yeah. Bumpy's a good. Good, uh, good, good, good player to be a fan of. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a good guy. Like him For sure. So um, TL takes the first game. Uh, Dragons were equal there as well, but they end up with a quite a big uh, lead there. A lot more kills and goals as well. Uh, so moving on to the se second game, let's get over in champ select there. So we have, uh, once again, C9 just giving the Varus over again. Mm -hmm. uh, they give up the Volibear this time in trade for, I think, the Ziggs ban. So they end up banning both of those finally, so forces APA to onto something else at least. And they also took out the Talia in the second half, so he can't fall back on that either. And then Impact takes the Rumble here as well, which is pretty big for them. Uh, yeah. I, I was I was also saying that I think Berserkers would probably play Senna, because I think it was really good, um, mm -hmm. just generally speaking. But it didn't didn't quite go how I expected. Um, <laughs> it does happen sometimes, but yeah. Uh, what, what were your thoughts on this one? Need me to run it back? Um, no, no, it's okay. I thought, yeah, I was happier to see the Senna pick come out. Yeah. For sure than the Calista. Um, I, I was a little bit worried. Yeah, this as we kind of see the mid lane matchup here, because I think I think late game Huey is obviously going to be a lot bigger of a threat, but um, APA is no, like he he doesn't bust out the Tristana as often as some of his other picks, but he yeah. he's always when I see him like super super aggressive and aggro on the Tristana. So um I thought there was a chance that he could kind of get the better of Jojo here just because of how he plays it. Um, yeah, so I was a little sure. nervous about that. And then um yeah the rest of the picks I, I did think the rumble was a good a good look from impact. We don't we don't see him on that too often. So Yeah. He's definitely really good at it for sure. Yeah. Yeah yeah. And then pretty much sure. the rest of the game just kind of played out like that. Um, nothing crazy, I remember, but I some think... stuff happening. This one was crazy. I... They oh, both got really yeah. low health. If I'm Trist here, I turn around and, and auto attack, but yeah. uh, but he waits too long, and then I guess he, they both live. But yeah, or I can't remember if Jojo dies here. I don't think so. No. I um I remember. I think they get a couple grubs, and then it makes like Tristana split pushing kind of. Uh, kind of a problem right if i remember right in this one yeah i think umpty's getting some grubs right now yeah so that i do remember that being like yeah they have three for sure right now. Now. there was a, a lot of back and forth top <laughs> yep and then just a lot of stuff happening overall but basically tl just playing a little bit better um and then c9 just kind of underperforming once again uh for the most part and then blue team gets six void grubs, which is really big for them. Uh, they get some kills here, and then they lose a couple people. Uh, overall, I think... Is this the game that C9 actually had some good dragons, or was it uh, stacking for TL again? Um, I think they got some good dragons here. I feel like, I feel like it was either this one or game three. Actually, I can't remember, but... Yeah. Um... I just yeah I re, yeah I think this sequence yeah see see the split push up there like yep, at, yep. at a certain point APA is just like well we've got six grubs and I'm Tristana so I'm just gonna take all of your towers like all the right, time exactly and it was just like it was so hard to deal with yeah oh and then they sneak bear and that's right okay yes yeah yeah that's the Umpty other yeah. and Yon they, go for just bear the two and of just them take, take it, it while they're taking the dragon yep mm -hmm. and then pretty much I mean they're just at this point, TL is just so far ahead from all the yeah. kills and the uh, objectives. Towers and, Towers and stuff, yeah, exactly. So, pretty big for them, um, and they end up closing it out. I can't remember exactly how. I think it's just a team fight again. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah, it was a big rumble ultimate, that's right. Yep. 
and then yeah. at that point it's well, just yeah, like three man volley bear yeah it both was... your carries are pretty much dead or at least in that low health point <laughs> and then fudge yeah. can only live for so long and then the rest of the teams can just mop it up basically if they really need to uh, but yeah they just they end up taking taking c9 up pretty handedly once again which means they're up 2-0 here uh pretty crazy and yeah. uh, not what you really expected and i was like uh-oh c9 doesn't doesn't osh and come back in these situations i was like well this is bad and then i saw the uh the total time of the stream and i was like uh-oh <laughs> yeah, like, mm, there's not enough time for <laughs> for, for a five game games. series yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh anyways final game here we have the Varus once again for TL. They still yep. not banning it from C9 side. They get the uh, or jacks picking out. It. They're not. They're not doing it either. They're not banning. Yeah, it exactly. Or... They yeah, take okay. the red side for the counter pick. So Fudge gets Olaf here, um, and then we go Lucian Nami. And I'm like, uh oh, not in the yeah, third game where you can feel eliminated. We've seen this before. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, they get the rel. Uh, I think it was banned against them quite a bit actually for TL. So. They get yeah. that, and they also get the Vi as well. So they kind of, TL kind of gets like Exodia here almost, um, at least in four out of five, if not five um, yeah, of champs, I think, that I, they won. So. I pretty, definitely pretty thought, uh, I was like pretty sure this was the end when I saw the Lushinami. It, it, it seemed yeah. like they were, they didn't know what to do into the Varus. They're like, what can we do? And instead of thinking pick and or ban the Varus, they're like, just play Lushinami. Yeah. So I was like, no, 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 that's the that's the wrong answer. Yeah. Like, I've watched you all season. This is the wrong answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. And then, I do like Karma with uh, Jin Zhao. Like, I feel like that's a good pairing. Like, it is a good combo. And he goes in. So, like, they, their draft wasn't, like, completely... I was just, like, very nervous with the, the bot lane pairing yeah. there. But even, even with that, though, I think it's better to have the Karma support because, um, at least in this situation, with Jojo being, like, a good player... Because yeah, sure. I think Put you're losing a lot of else. damage overall. Um, yeah. And I'm pretty sure Blabber goes like more of a bruiser type of Zen anyway. So if you're not going carry, it's like, where's yeah. your damage coming kind of from? Because yeah, Lucian's yeah. definitely not going to be able to carry it with his short range. Yeah. Um, I and I think uh, Fudge did like Ziggs, pretty, yeah. yeah. I think Fudge did pretty fine in terms of like team fights later on. But like when you have four people, four or five people just wailing on you while your team is zoned off, it's pretty hard. Yeah. What can you do? Yeah, but um, overall, pretty rough. Uh, TL, of course, uh, spoilers, if you didn't know already, but uh, they do end up taking this, meaning they 3 0 C9, so C9 gets 3 0 back to back from FlyQuest crazy. and then TL. Uh, so pretty crazy. Um, really well done by Team Liquid, though. They're just looking super good and just kind of on the upswing. I wasn't expecting this from them, but I thought at the start of the season when when they put this team together, I was like, you know, this is not, honestly not bad. And then they had a little bit of hiccups and APA getting caught out a few different times here, but overall, he's looking pretty solid as well. Um, yep. Yeah, yeah. Just needs to clean up a couple things, and then he's good. Uh, but yeah, this I'm means that. To see uh, what C9 will do in the yeah in between times now. I don't know because I, I don't think you can really change any roster moves which i think is probably fine if they keep everyone yeah but like what are you gonna how are you gonna fix the problems i think being together for longer is already a good thing sure but um i'm not sure if it'll be enough is the only problem <laughs> yep yep i agree uh, but i mean if they do get third place at least they get a world so it wouldn't be the worst thing if they copy yeah, the, sure. the thing but still i'm pretty sure they want to they want to win so I think I remember uh, Ber Berserker actually kind of exploded on I think JoJo in a uh, one of C9's like content pieces, um, and he was saying that JoJo was in like running it down a bunch and like why are we not why are we not taking scrim seriously and all this other stuff. So yeah. I think there's some drama happening in the team as well, which is not good. Um, yeah, I definitely so. could see that because they seemed a bit out of out of sorts in this uh, honestly this whole season, but in the playoffs. Yes. They... For sure. Yeah, the last two series, definitely. But yeah, I mean, they mount a pretty good uh, attack here. They kind of strike back and actually ace them. But uh, overall, Tila's just like ahead pretty much the whole time. Not too much this game, but they have all the dragons and more towers as well. And no one got the six rubs, so that's just out of the question. And then yep. pretty much TL's just more ahead and they have a better team fighting comp and just more damage overall and more range, honestly. 
Um, C9 just has like no range this entire game. Yeah, it makes it hard. Like I said, especially in the zigs, it's like so annoying to yep. be short range under that guy. And 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 uh, Varus, honestly, yeah, both exactly. Yeah. And then your course in range of the rail as well, <laughs> if you're short yep. range. So it's yep. pretty rough, but uh, C9 just kind of falling over here, unfortunately. You yeah, hate to see it, but uh, that does mean TL gets to qualify and actually go to MSI, which is pretty cool. And then uh, FlyQuest, of course, already qualified in the previous series versus C9. So C9 gets taken out by <laughs> both the people that could be winning and both the people that are going to MSI. So uh, there you go. That's that for that series. Um, we're going to go jump straight into the TL versus Fly series. So That's TL versus Fly. Involved. First game we got right here. I'm going to run to Jack a little bit so we have some time to look at draft. Uh, but yeah. This is um, the next series. So we got Urgot as our first pick in this series, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. And then we have Inspired is going to be on Vi. And then Jitsen comes out and pulls up the Karma. And then uh, Masu on uh, Kaisa. And then Pusio is on Nautilus, of course. Impact takes the Cassante once again. Uh, he's looking pretty good on that. Umpties on the Volley Bear, which has been banned a few times versus him as well. And then uh, I missed the others, but we'll get to it in a second. <laughs> uh, APA picks up the Talia. Jan's on Smolder. Core is on uh, Tom Kinch, rather. Yeah. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, the the pre show was actually really good. Uh, I, uh, at first, I was like, uh oh. I, I don't know if it's going to be that good because it's like one of the thing, one of the parts that was just at Worlds, but he uh, he freaking killed it. So definitely go watch that if you didn't, haven't seen it already. But uh, Dear God. Yeah, what were you thinking about this series, by the way? <laughs> um, honestly, I didn't. It was so hard to predict. Um, at this previously point, it because, was five games, right? Yeah, it was such a close series between them last time. Um, but TLs look better every single series and they had just three like three owed uh c9 so i actually like i was thinking fly was gonna win or c9 was gonna win the whole time but yeah. i kind of felt like tl had the momentum at this point and they'd been looking better and better so um and at this point i just wanted to see i just wanted to see umpty win so i was like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, <laughs> the lower bracket buff TL here yeah, yeah lower bracket buff for sure and then yeah, so I was, I was going to see how that goes. I, I thought, actually, I've seen Kaisa Nautilus be a good counter to combo. Smolder. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Like, in LEC and a couple other, I think maybe LPL. They, like, because they just go super aggressive and, like, kill the Smolder over and over in lane. Yeah, yeah But, okay. um, so that's, like, kind of the, the theory behind the counter. But I actually, I don't think, I guess we'll see as it rolls, but I don't think they played all that aggressive so they kind of like wasted that advantage per se because i don't okay. i don't think they killed the smolder in lane at all like even one time so i don't think so yeah uh Yon was able to just like stack up and that's kind of like if, if he can do that like that's the the nightmare scenario for for the other team yeah definitely and i remember uh some of the earlier games in the split actually there there was a lot of what was a lot of when like smolder was super strong there was a yeah. lot of um, Kaisa because she could like go back and assassinate him in the back line, kind yeah. of. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, exactly, he takes yeah. a few a few seconds to to like actually kill you usually, but she can yep. burst you pretty quick. So definitely for sure. But uh, yeah, this uh, this first game looks like they got one void grub on blue side and then none. Oh, okay, two more on on TL's side as well. I also didn't hate the Urgot pick. I thought it was pretty spicy. Um... Yeah, it didn't really end up working out. Impact's Cassante was very, very good, but yeah, for sure. Um, for like a game one in a series, sometimes using like a spicy pick is good. Yeah, it, it I, I like the it. For sure. Opponents like something to think about, so I didn't have a problem with it. I thought it was it was fun. Definitely. And then uh, yeah, so pretty much just pretty standard stuff. Everyone fighting back and forth. TL got the first couple kills and the second couple kills. And uh, I believe this game, Fly only, FlyQuest only gets one kill the entire game, and uh, TL and ends up with like spoilers, it wasn't it wasn't on the smolder, so <laughs> that guy was stacking. Yeah, just TL playing super well, honestly. Overall, um, not much else to say there. But I loved uh, all the trash talking. 
<laughs> yeah, they're still highlighting that stuff. So they take them out pretty quickly. It was only a 25-minute game. Yep. Uh, so pretty quick on that first one. They're like, oh, you know, most people I think would have said probably Flyco's going to take not only the series, but at least the first game, right? Just like start it yeah. off. And then uh, yeah. CNT, I'll take it. I was like, oh, okay. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of kind of big for them, honestly, I think. So uh, let's go into the second game. Let's see what happens here. Uh, so we got some more bans, got the Umpty Jacks ban again, and then the Rel ban as well, and the uh, Ash ban as well. So fly this time, this uh, fly this time, um, take Callista as well, and yep, then they yep, give yep. the the Varus again. So still giving that to Jan, even though he keeps performing on it. Yep. Uh, he keeps getting the pick. Yeah. What were your thoughts on this one, or this um... draft at least? I pretty standard, uh, I, I think. I right? thought, yeah, I thought that TL had a better. I like their draft better. Okay. Yep. Um, Cassante Sejuani is a pretty good combo. Virus, I like. We said I think I like it a lot better than the Callista. Um, I didn't think the Nautilus Callista maybe has a better chance than Renata Callista into Varus. Sure. Um, yeah. So I like that change up a little bit. Um, Jensen Annie is like. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. I just I didn't it. know if we had enough like burst follow up, but I did. I did. I did kind of like the Annie pick over the Karma pick. I didn't like the Karma pick. I felt like it didn't give him enough, uh, like enough damage and like carry potential mm, to, okay. to start these fights. Yeah, for sure. So I liked. I like the Annie pick here. I thought that could be could be pretty good. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I like the AP stats. Yeah. Oh, that was great. I missed it. Where was it? Uh, I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, pretty much uh, back and forth game. FlyQuest has a little bit of a lead here. They get all six scrubs and first tower. Uh, looking pretty good. And then they kind of just translate it pretty well. Uh, they end up taking Baron, it looks like, right? Oh, no, red team takes the Baron. So Umpty yeah, gets a the steal there as well. The big steal, but... Big turnaround. It's like, uh-oh. It's happening again. They've got three dragons here. Kills are dead even. And then... Big fight yeah. breaks out. It's definitely a uh, pretty back-and-forth game, but... Yeah, absolutely. Blippo and, uh, Blippo and Jensen definitely did some heavy lifting. Um... <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I don't remember too much about this game, but... Uh, FlyQuest take the dub here. Yeah, they end up evening it out. Um, like I said, it, it, uh, Renekton and Annie definitely like carried some of these team fights. Um, but it wasn't. It it like it wasn't like oh I thought it, it, to me it felt like it was almost uh, it was so back and forth that I didn't I wasn't like confident that okay now FlyQuest is gonna like take the whole series. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, okay, they won, but it didn't look like as clean as I thought it would. So um, <laughs> I definitely was like not worried for TL here at this point. Um, I thought, yeah, it wasn't like a super super impressive win, but it was it was good. Yeah, it was yeah, good. for sure. And then of course the uh, when will they there when will they learn to stop picking Talia into the the Renekton of what I know <laughs> C9 did it and then TL did it. But yeah, anyways, uh, thought that was kind of funny. Either way, yeah. let's jump into the third uh, champ select here. So we got Callista bans from TL this time, so they're respecting it actually. Um, yeah. And then Smolder ban, and the uh, the Volibear comes out as well. And then they give him Varus once again. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> and then they also give him their Aurelian Soul. So that's kind of kind of interesting. Yep. And then, two big picks for them. Super Still big. On their side. And then the Cinna, Tom, and then the Annie as well. We got Arrow in the background for that guy. Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> and then Viego comes out from expired. Um, he's like, "All right, guys, put you on my back. We'll carry." <laughs> and then uh, Bwipo pulls out the the spicy GP. And then I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh yeah, Impact comes out with the the Twisted Fate as well. And then I'm pretty sure that someone after this game was like, "All right." Uh, Bwipo said that if I don't carry this game, um, you guys can all report me. So I was like, okay, <laughs> respect. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but yeah, anyways, what were your thoughts about this game? <laughs> well, as we said, they gave over just... A lot of stuff. God, they gave over Jax, Asol, and Varus. So, and, and honestly, actually, like people forget, like Nautilus is a is a big core JJ champion. Like I yeah. feel like that's maybe one of the ones he's best known for. So they pretty much gave TL everything they could have wanted. Um, and even though they had the Viego, I thought, okay, Annie went well in the, first, the second game. So yeah, cool with that. But um, I thought the thought the gangplank. I think they cooked a little bit too much with the gangplank. I don't know. Did you did you love the? I thought the gangplank was like a bit sus. Um, it wasn't like he like troll. But I just I felt like there were better options, and then, um... yeah, there probably were. I think he probably has some like stuff where he was like winning versus it, and maybe either so solo queue or, or something, sure. or scrims. That's probably why he thought he's probably because you know he has a lot of these like specific counters, specific yeah, specific definitely. champs. But uh, it didn't really end up working out this game, unfortunately. I mean, he had a pretty big CS lead uh, at least early on, but yeah. Um... Also thought um. I really noticed it in this game, but then as I like watched the whole series, like it stood out more and more. It seemed like Busio seemed really uh, like off his game, um, and I wonder if there was has he. This is his first finals. Does that sound right? Because he wasn't. Busio. I think last so. year. I don't think he went to finals. No, because he was on a uh, hundred thieves, and that was the double right. team. So they were like. So I don't know if maybe like. Uh... Yeah, I think like nerves, I think this is his first finals. It, it just seemed like he he wasn't like he, he wasn't like terrible, but it just seemed like he was like off his game a bit. And so I wonder if uh, if he might have just been like nervous or something because he just didn't look like as confident on in some of these games. Could have been, yeah. I I didn't really notice it, but yeah, that that would probably. I noticed have... it more in this Tom Kench. I was like, it just seemed like. Right. Yeah. Like he wasn't doing too much on the Tom Kench other than just like walking around and dying. So, <laughs> fair. I mean, sometimes it's all you can do on the Tom Kench. Like, true, true, true. To yeah. be fair, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, good, good scout. I didn't even see that actually. So, there you go. That's why we have you here. See the stuff that I can't. <laughs> oh, you know, that's the other thing. Now, I'm more, okay, no, no more Busio flame. But he had, he saw, he had that heart steal. <laughs> oh I'm yeah, yeah. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he had like. This is the last flame. No flame, but I'm pretty sure like he had like thir like maybe twenty or thirty stacks on that thing. Like into like really late into the game. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So I just like I just thought it was like there's a couple like things where I just like was a head scratcher. Um where I feel like during the regular season he was like he wasn't making the same like decisions, I guess. Right. Okay. That's why I thought maybe he was nervous. But... Yeah, it's twenty six minutes in he only has twenty seven <laughs> health <laughs> gained. So Yeah. Not the, not the best. <laughs> That's one proc, uh, for sure. <laughs> not, the, not the best. Not great. I, I actually do like the item choice on it. I, I do. Think, I do. But yeah, it doesn't look like he was able to get it at all. That's what I mean when it says surprising. like he was just kind of wandering around. Cause it's like... <laughs> I guess he would only be able to get it off of core realistically. Yeah, that is Unless... true. It is. It is a bit harder into that comp to like reliably stack it. That's <laughs> yeah. That's so true. Yeah, that is kind of interesting. I didn't even think about that, honestly. Glad you pointed it out. Yep. yep. All I right. think he gets to 30 at some point, so there you go. Yeah, there you go. And then we got the updated champions by the numbers. <laughs> if you've yep, yep, yep. Uh, and then we, they had a little bit of a, a graphic earlier uh, that was saying something about like lower bracket runs and stuff as well. So there you yeah. go. The buff. <laughs> but yeah, um, just kind of back and forth team fighting. TL was always up pretty much this game, I think, at least gold. Um, they were up turrets quite a bit, and then kind of just chasing them down in this team fight. They're kind of just so far ahead, honestly. It seems. Yeah, at this um, point, the the running souls like super scaled. Yep. Yep. Um, most of fly is pretty far behind, so it's just not. Yeah, yeah those Q chunks are pretty pretty meaty once the Rillian gets the stacks. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there you go. Yep. And then TL takes that, so that means they're 2-1 in this series. Not what people would have expected, I don't think. Uh, and then that's match point for, for FlyQuest, so they have to figure something out. And uh, honestly, it's like a kind of a 180 from what I was expecting from their previous series. So that's like, wow, these guys are like favorites to win. I think they're looking really, really good. But now they're yeah. almost on 
almost defeated here. Um, of course, they still go to MSI, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, kind of crazy. So let's get into the final champ select of the day, as I've spoiled it, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, so we got the APA, a Rebellion Soul Band, and then of course the Umpty uh, Volibear as well. They are still given the Varus. So this is what, like six games in a row he's played Varus now, or what? Yeah. 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 Okay. If, just, uh, just checking. <laughs> if, if teams are scouting them for MSI, um, I don't know if Varus will be in the meta at that point, but if it is, just so you know. Maybe, yeah, I think maybe they, they can play something else. They like minus three AD'd on him or something. Uh, yeah. One or two patches ago, but I don't. Yeah. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Honestly, maybe maybe they can good. play another champion. You know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Honestly, yeah. I don't fault him. Like if it's if it's not broken, like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just keep doing it. So right, I don't, exactly. Don't play just, it's your opponent's not learning. That's the main thing. Yep. Like, I would have banned this thing a long time ago if, if I had any say in the bands. Yeah, just to, like, just to see, like, what else, like, what he would do on something else, yeah. For sure, for sure. All right. Uh, so, yeah, FlyQuest versus TL here. On the last, we get a spicy rumble support from Busio. Uh, and then... Yeah. <laughs> picking up the Olaf again Masu back on the Callista which they won in second game um, with and that ended up working out uh, Umpty back on the Poppy list this time and then the Impact gets his Cassante once again so yeah let's jump in let's see uh, what were your thoughts on this draft um, I thought they gave some power picks to TL again like Cassante for Impact very good pick um and then obviously yeah varus nautilus again very good combo for them so feeling pretty good about their draft and yeah. i was definitely it's a little bit worried with the fly draft um they had some head scratchers the whole series but this one was like i just wasn't sure who they didn't really have a front line like they had an olaf who would go in um and just like run through everybody, but like yeah, no true. one else was really gonna front line. So I was like, I don't know. I, I was worried how these team fights were gonna go for them. And the rumble, I mean, I think it can work as support. I think it like it could for sure, but I was interested to see how that was gonna turn out. I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good point. And I'm gonna play devil I I forget just for one second. And uh I don't think a front line works versus Varus, so <laughs> that's true. That is actually true. But uh, I 100 agree. They should have something. Uh, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, that is a good point. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. I guess if he shoots arrows through everybody, so that's fair. And and <laughs> if he goes off head, he's just gonna he's yep. just gonna max health you anyway. So fair, fair point. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that in there, but I 100 percent agree that they needed the front line for sure as well. Uh, and then Bustio just trades it so that Yon loses the whole minion wave there of XP. Yeah, no, that was uh, good. I thought that was good. And stuff. And then, I mean, Bustio doesn't care about kills or anything, so it doesn't really hurt him. So, pretty good from him. Um, it kind of just makes sense. Fly pick up the first dragon. Uh, they're up a little bit of gold here overall. Uh, pretty much dead even kills, but they have just been farming better, it looks like, overall. Um, just like... Yeah. They were up. They were up pretty much just some laning. Uh, the Annie looked like a good pick again. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember a whole lot about this game. This is the one I was I was about to watch as we we're going into the recording pretty much. Mm -hmm. Fair, 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 fair. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, like it, it didn't look bad early. I mean, you see, even still here, like yeah, it's pretty by even. Drake too. They're up still, even though they lose that dragon. They're still up in gold. Yeah. Um, a lot of it is the kills on Annie, um, and then that kill and some farm on the Callista. Um, so, I mean, like, yeah, there was no no cause for concern. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. I just had a feeling just looking at, again, the team comps, I was like, I just I feel like, yo, this is going to be stronger late. That's, that's just what I kept thinking. I was, like, waiting to see how a 5v5 team fight would turn out. Right, for um, sure. I don't, I, I don't remember like how long until we actually get one. This might have been the first. Even this one was oh, yeah. more of like a pick. So, okay, so it kind of starts here. APA yeah, inspired, inspired. Just stuff. Yeah, I think inspired and Blippo kind of get a. Oh, I guess spot or not Blip, Yeah, Boosie or rather inspired. And, yeah. Okay. Okay. They get spotted. It's a good coordination from TL. They're able to 
to come in. One one thing that like you saw right there, um, Blippo <laughs> obviously doesn't have TP as the Olaf. He True. Goes, goes flash. So yeah, yeah, that was really smart of TL to like call that TP in and take the take the Drake. Um, yeah. I think really honestly, like from that point, it started to slowly flip like over to TL. If I remember this game, like that that kind of second dragon started the snowball in their favor. Right, for sure. Kill an OMD. Oh, wow. They get, like, pushed off the dragon as they almost yeah. had it finished, and then obviously yeah. Teal's going to claim the dragon there. Which, again, I think it's, like, it's kind of tough again. Oof, yeah. Like, maybe a frontline doesn't work against uh, Varus, but it you kind of want someone beefy to take, like, neutrals like Baron. So <laughs> you, like, saw how low Inspire got on that Baron. It was... Uh... It was, it, was, uh, it was rough. <laughs> APA with the losing finals to APA question mark. <laughs> yeah. It's yep. good. good. And then, yeah, they have three dragons at this point. They're looking pretty strong. They're up now 5,000 gold from their 2k deficit from before. And yep. then uh, another Baron, it looks like. And then they end up turning it around. APA just on the minus, like the tiny little pixel clip of uh, of the Talia seismic shove and minions it takes some uh, yeah for real yeah pretty much uh just tl just like huge lead now almost 10k and then up four dragons as well with the soul so and they didn't take too many risks you can see like defensive or like not like an aggressive to leo wall just enough to get the tower so they, yeah. they played the game really uh really smart as well yeah for sure Bopo tries to force something there because there's not much they can do at this point. And then ends up not working, of course. He lives with a little bit of health, but it doesn't end up mattering. And that's that's TL taking the championship, which is not what you expected from fourth place in regular season, huh? Yeah, no, for <laughs> sure. Uh, but well-deserved, honestly. Yeah, for sure. They, they played yeah, really well. Empty. Look how happy Omti is. I know. <laughs> yeah, what what was it? Like, he played for, like, seven or eight years before this, and now he's finally gotten something? Is that right? Yes, you have to you have to understand. He was on um, LCK, a right? team called Jin Air in LCK. Right, yeah. And yeah. then he went over to Breon um, after Jin Air was gone. So, like, he's been on basically, like, bottom table teams his whole career. Um but he always was like he looked really good, but his teams were just so bad every year. And so Yeah, for sure. Um you know, kind of being trapped his whole career. And then so yeah, he was definitely emotional because this is like legitimately uh for two reasons. Like one, this is like the first thing he's ever won after like a, a pretty like yeah, seven or eight year long career. Yeah. And then two, he's never obviously because he's never won an L C K, like he's never been to an international event. Right. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah. So it was like two, two. I think it kind of all hit him at once. I was like very, very happy uh, to see to see him as someone who's watching for a while. It was cool to see him. Yeah, for yeah. sure. APA taking the the trophy yeah. the first, for is in his second split as well, and then yeah, I think he got MVP <laughs> too. I think he got Finals MVP. APA Did he? Too. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So but yeah, looking really good. It's good to see Steve happy again. He finally got a, a championship win again after yeah, being pretty. A pretty disappointed the last few super teams and such yes uh but yeah good to see impact back on top again as well yeah, core finally gets a win cool. again for the yeah. first time in like four years or something yep 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 but yeah pretty crazy not what i expected for sure i thought FlyQuest were definitely gonna win the whole thing uh yeah at least halfway through playoffs but um this last little bit changed a lot of stuff. <laughs> Team TL really stepping up here for sure. It's going to be interesting to see him at international. So looking forward to that yeah. MSI. <laughs> yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be exciting for sure. I think it'll be. I don't think it's as uh, people think they're going to get like like dominated, but I think like Umpty Impact core like they're players who definitely can hold up like internationally and then um i mean we saw in these playoffs apa and yon stepped up big so i don't think it's like hopeless yeah, I think, I guess. Well, yon's I looking think. really good i think apa as long as he doesn't start running it down or or anything yes there's always a danger but, but like i think i think like the three yeah umpty umpty core and impact you know are going to be solid so that gives you like a really good yeah good, good place to work from so i think um yeah i think it I think it's good i think it'll be good 
<laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, this has been Drewbert and Halo MCA. Uh, we'll see you at MSI probably for the next LCS type of thing or uh, El Lolly Sports, I guess, more accurately type of thing. But yeah, thanks for watching once again, and we'll catch you there. Peace.